there it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. Wait a second. Repeat that. Turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. I'm sorry. Just, just one more time, please. I truly do apologize. Turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. Hey, uh, Brother Bear, thank you for uh, letting me borrow your shower. Yeah, mine's been uh, out of work for... What the fuck are you watching over there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was... I was just about to close my laptop and uh, go and watch a movie or something. Oh, fuck! Is it that video? It's fucking... What the fuck? What's they call it? No, Llama. Just stop. Just stop. I was going to watch a movie. Fucking sexist air conditioning. That's the one, right? Yes, and I know what you're thinking. No, I was going to close my laptop and watch a fucking movie. My mental sanity is more important than this. Fuck! Let's fucking do this one together. Let's tear it apart! You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Fine. Fucking fine. Just understand the only reason I'm doing this is because you are here and I am starting to regret letting you use my shower. God fucking damn. Welcome to the channel of Skeptic Llama. Had excommunicated him for being skeptic. Along with his abortion of a dress sense. Now he roams the wilds of the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you none other than Skeptic Llama, Skeptic Llama, Skeptic Llama. There it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. Yeah, you had that problem, you know. You know, the one where you think that an inanimate object is somehow sexist towards you because you are somehow more affected by the inanimate object's appearance in your life than someone else. Yeah, that happens to everyone. Because that's sane. It's always something. There's always something they want to complain about. And that is the most annoying thing about feminism. Hashtag make feminism less annoying, anyone? I know. Um... So many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Oh no! Do you know what we do in Norway if we're freezing? We've put some fucking clothes on! Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. Boo hoo! The AC made me have a cold! Eh! Fuck you, leave the AC alone. The AC only did what it was told to do, and it was told to blow cold air. If you got a cold, then it's because you're weak and you need to get thicker skin. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Oh, I bet it was. Getting your fucking suspicions. <laughs> Getting your fucking suspicions that an inanimate object somehow has feelings towards your gender specifically. That must be really nice, right? Feeling that somehow everything around you, even your television probably, is sexist and only shows you the crappy picture. But whenever a man watches a television, they probably see the best picture, right? Yeah, because inanimate objects have feelings towards what gender you are. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men. Which does not mean that the air conditioning, which is men and I'm a <laughs> air conditioning, which is an inanimate object, by the way. If you didn't know, this thing doesn't live. Is sexist, yeah? You may feel the cold more than men. That might happen. You may have thinner skin. That could be a thing. But that does not mean that an inanimate object has a special preference towards a different gender. Bitch. Hey, you dumb bitch. If your skin is more sensitive than men's, it's probably because your skin is sexist. 
fuck off. And that the AC in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's. Actually, it's probably more regulated towards the average temperature. You know, the one that people usually enjoy. Have you tried asking people? Oh, I doubt you have, because, you know, that would go against your narrative. You know, Llama, it's kind of funny, because in my house nightly, the house is about 60 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, it's mostly the guys that are complaining that it's too damn cold in the house. The girls are just fine. So because we're men, can the AC still be sexist? Or did I just turn the sexist issue into an issue? Really, it's not even an issue. It's just fucking women complaining for no reason. And it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of their office thermostat. Those thermostats are completely bogus, by the way. They do nothing to control the temperature, because if they did, and they were turned up and down and up and down and up and down, that constant switch would take so much more power that your company is not willing spend on your sorry ass even if they did use the thermostat to control the temperature which they don't in order to uh, cool down a building so big they use a gigantic room full of pipes and hydraulics to heat and cool down the entire building at the same time they could only get to about two degrees within what the temperature is set to, whether that's below or above. So your complaining doesn't help at all. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally. Well, first, anecdotal evidence is not evidence at all, in any circumstance. And whether or not men or women control it in the office does not change shit, cause those knobs do nothing at all. Thermostat controls in large buildings, such as many office buildings, don't usually do anything. These placebo controls for large HVAC systems do nothing but make you think you are adjusting the temperature. In some cases, the system even includes white noise generators to make you think the temperature controls are working, when in fact the heating and cooling systems are controlled elsewhere. Um, and because majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures, you know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. Well, here's a wild idea. Maybe you should put some clothes on and you know often like actually nothing's being done to help them and you know it might sound like a bit of a silly light-hearted issue but actually it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk every day um take it from me i love the fucking victim narrative that she's spouting right here oh i want someone help me come save me from this fucking cold temperature you know what there are things you can do yourself that will help you from this. Yeah, there actually is. You can fucking go and do something yourself. Hey, hey, brother bear, tell her. Give her all the information on what she can do to make herself warmer. Well, for one, you could take a blanket and wrap it around yourself while you're working or get one of those snuggies things. I have a friend who's a student in college with me and she does exactly that. Another thing you could do is grab a heavy jacket. Unless you're one of those people that fall over when they wear heavy jackets, then get a jacket, period. Because I see you without one, you're just wearing a fucking dress. And last time I checked, dresses don't do shit to help you when it's cold. You have fur, you, you know this shit. I have floof. Floof also helps. No, I, I, I know I experience the same because what I've often found is you go in on a really hot summer's day, you're wearing summer clothes, you go into an office and it's absolutely freezing. Uh, I think even for some men it must be too cold. I don't understand why air conditioning is often so cold. Look, you're a reporter. I'm sure you can think a little bit critically about this. So, I'll walk you through it baby steps. 
Ja. It's warm outside. So warm that you're probably sweating. And if it was that warm in your office, you'd be uncomfortable in your office. Ja. You walk into your office. The air conditioning is on to cool the air so that the temperature isn't warm as fucking shit. That will make it colder. If you're not able to work around that, go take some tips from Norwegians like me and fucking get yourself some thicker fucking clothes. You're at work, bitch. So what you have to do is then take a jumper in with you and put that jumper on in order to be able to function. Thank you for listening. Yeah, honestly, I think so many women listening now are going to just be nodding their heads thinking, yes, that is exactly my reality. I know a couple of people that would just facepalm so fucking hard and say, why? And based on the reaction that this video got, I will assume that you guys also know at this point. Come on, you can keep this together, come on. You know, we joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because... You can't dress fashionably because what? You actually just can't go in in sandals, you can't go in in a summer dress. Yes, no, you can't do that because what? Come on. Because? Because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency card again. No. Because you're at fucking work. It's not your job to look fashionably at work. It's your job to make sure you're as effective at doing your job as possible. If that involves wearing clothes that are not fashionable, you fucking do that at job because that's your fucking job. No wonder they complain about the fucking wage gap. I wouldn't pay this bitch even if she sucked my dick. Wow, llama. I, I, I would. I was about. I was gonna say something, but then you came out with that. Uh, um. So yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. Well, guess what? You know how you can, you know, take on a jacket or a sweater yeah you can also take that thing off such a big revelation i know fucking take off your clothes when you're warm and on your clothes when you're cold what the f that's that's fucking new brand new thinking here and i think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office see my point on why you use the air conditioning in the first place here's a little too long didn't read it's because it's fucking warm, and you don't work in the warms. Well, not only that, Llama, but also people tend to fall asleep more when it's warm. And so they keep the temperature low to make sure that they get as much efficiency as possible. Even though, you know, there are people that will fall asleep in the cold. So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men or women overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if, you know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold, they need to be more flexible. You know, they need to actually kind of lower it and not just say, but all the men are fine. You know, now there is actually proof that this is, this is actually an issue. I think they need to kind of take women's considerations into account. And you know what, maybe there can be more flexibility with men not having to wear suits in some offices and they can come in in t-shirts or whatever they need to be the right temperature. So, your solution for the problem of air conditioning is not to dress up properly for your work, but to have the other people that are dressing properly to dress inappropriately for work. You want the people who are actually dressing nice for their job to not dress nicely for their job. And that's your solution. You're a fucking dumbass, aren't you? That feminist logic, though. You can't do what you want, so you make everyone else do what you do instead of do what everyone else does to make your life easier. It really doesn't make any sense to me. But then again, I'm not a feminist, so yeah.
Anyways, Brother Bear, I think that's the end of the video. So, uh, I'll be heading out now. Uh, I kind of nicked your, uh, your shower thing. You know, I have a lot of floof. So, I'm, I'll, I'll replace that. I'll, I'll send you some on PayPal or something. Yeah, I understand. I have a lot of fur, so it happens to me too. Anyways, guys, before Brother Bear Hair kiss you guys off, I'll just say, stay classy. Thanks, Llama, for being on my channel. And for all of you viewers, um, do you think that Sexist AC is a thing? Tell me down in the comments. Y'all have a beautiful fucking day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I fall in love too easily. I fall in love too fast. I fall in love.